Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on creating hyperlinks. Hyperlinks of course are used to link not only your pages together so that your users can find your content but also to link your site to other sites in the world um, whether they are yours or uh, somebody else's. So let's get started. The first type of hyperlink is a link from a page within your site to another page in your site. So in this particular example, I've got four or five pages already made. I've got a home page, I've got um, a sample, block one sample page, etc. I'm going to simply highlight this. And of course, now I'm just noticing that this isn't really a link. Let me just be very clear that that's what I intend to do here. I'm going to highlight this. And on my toolbar, I have a linking icon, which looks like a little chain link and a broken chain link. And that, of course, is to remove. I obviously want to insert a hyperlink here. Now, with the newer version of WordPress, we do have a slightly different screen to create hyperlinks here. Because this is a link within my own site, I don't want to have to search for it, nor do I want to go out to a URL. I'm going to click on my little gear. And in this particular case, this brings me back to my more traditional WordPress linking piece. <clears throat> I could, some of the options here, I could change the link text. That would change this text over here. I could open this link in a new tab. You should only do that if you're linking outside of your website. Please do not do that if you are linking to your own pages. Um, however, this is linking to existing content, meaning I already have these pages on my WordPress and I just need to find the one that I want to link to here. Now if this drop down or if these do, do not appear, there's usually a little arrow here that helps you unlock that and lets you see all of them. In this particular case, I'm creating a link to my home page. I'm going to click on home and click on add link. And I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure everybody's got that idea. I'm going to highlight the text. Note that you can also do these hyperlinks with images so that if you had inserted an image you would do the same thing click on it or select it click on your hyperlinking icon and then go ahead and click on the gear and in this particular case I'm linking to block one sample and add the link now the next type of hyperlink that is most common is that if I am hyperlinking out to the internet if I take a look at some of the URLs or web addresses that I have out there, they can be very long and very hard to retype manually. So no sense in doing that. I'm going to click into the hyperlink area. I'm going to highlight it and I can either right click and copy. I can control C, which is a copy on the Windows side or a command C on the Mac side. Um, alternately, I could probably go up to edit and copy up there as well three different ways to get that stuff copied and now I'm just going to come back over here to my WordPress site I'm going to once again highlight my text go to my hyperlinking icon and this time I'm going to paste and so I could either control V I could right click in uh, paste um, and on a Mac of course it's going to be command V and once I've done that I can hit my little enter arrow and that puts it in there now the next type of hyperlink that I want to create is out to a Google Doc. Now sometimes you'll come across websites that will allow you to embed particular pieces or such as the Google piece. We want to get the link correct because we don't want our users um, fouled up because we don't have the permissions set correctly or we've given them rights to an edit page, etc. So this is a Google drawing of my web space for our class. I'm going to click on share and here it says um, that the link sharing is on and here is the link so I'm going to click in there once again I can control C on the Windows side command C on the Apple side or right click and copy and once I've done that I can click on done and I am done with that I'm going to come back to my WordPress I'm going to highlight it once again I'm going to click on my linking icon this time of course I don't need to go to the gear all I need to do is one of my tricks to paste that in there and hit my apply button and that takes it in I'm going to go ahead and click on update and I can certainly go out and test my links as should you 
but uh, I'm not going to demo that because you can do that on your own. Talk to you in a bit.